right? We got 15 minutes, 19 seconds, bro. Hey, Shalom, 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 Shalom. Yeah, how about Shema Rashad? Barack Thumb. You know what I'm saying? To the whole full elect out there, man. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, shalom, shalom man. Shalom. Before we even get started, you know, first and foremost, want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And once again, you know what I'm saying? Third, want to give salutations to all the Akim, that's all the hopeful elect, that pushing forth this word and this truth and righteous sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 man. Shalom. All right, you know, and, you know, brothers of GMS Midlands here, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, myself, brother, a cop, you know what I'm saying? We got, you know, Priest Amawan in the back. Got uh, brother Kabai, you know what I'm saying, driving, and it's pretty much like a pre-camp video here. Ain't no pretty much; it is a pre-camp video. Uh, we already got the younger brothers, um, Yerumyum and brother Yakal. They already, um, the younger brothers in the camp. They already, you know what I'm saying, starting, you know, opening camp. Let those bros go out there and eat, and then you know what I'm saying, the elder brothers of the camp, which is ourselves, man. We gonna go ahead and we gonna fall in when we fall in, man. You know what I'm saying, shortly. But we let the younger brothers go ahead and open up. You know what I'm saying? To bring it out, bring it out, man. But nevertheless, man, I just want to touch bases on, you know what I'm saying, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, man. We was uh, 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 we was touching on it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, last um, last week, Cap, uh, which was last, which past Saturday, past Saturday and whatnot, but we didn't go all into it. Because the spirit, the Kakadash spirit, you know what I'm saying, it floated and it moved, you know, to other different topics or whatnot. So, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, through the spirit, I said, man, let's go ahead and um, touch back on, on the wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, man. You know, because that's end time prophecy. That's what we're looking forward to as far as the salvation. You know what I'm saying? You know, from Yahweh Bashim al Shai, we pray we are the hopeful elect. You know what I'm saying? You know, and we are, you know what I'm saying, delivered, man, from this second death, man. All right. You know, that Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to be bringing, man. All right. Upon Babylon, man. That's right. End of the day. That's right. Okay. Called Jacob's trouble, man. That's called right. our temptation at the end of the day or whatnot, man. But nevertheless, man. You know, without you know further ado, um, preach. You go ahead and um, you know, kick it off, brother. Kind. Of, Unless you like, had something to say, you want to add something well, no, to add, no, man. Just um, you know, hey, that's the spirit. You know, at the end of the day, we're coming into that time to where uh, you know, the Lord is getting ready to uh, make His second appearance, and mm -hmm. He's about to bring deliverance, man. That's right. You know, so at the end of the day, man, we want to go into the scriptures to prove that the Lord, you know, is dealing with us, man, and He's about to make that deliverance. Man. That's right, man. You know, getting ourselves prepared, man, for. You know that um that marriage bro all right that's you right. know making sure you know our garments is white man at the end of the day or whatnot man you know what i'm saying you know and them garments represents the work man right. okay all right kabal you was um yes can, I, uh, I, can I read that uh jeremiah 30 and 7 very quick Con, you made mention of it Con. as we going into this lesson very quickly it says the last that day is great so that none is like it and it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Now, there's a lot within that particular scripture right there because it says that day is great. And as we we're mentioning that day of, of tribulation, that, that time of uh, the hour of temptation that's about to come to this earth, man. All right. And it says a time of Jacob's trouble. Notice it is emphasizing Jacob's trouble. And by now we should know that Jacob represents Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's so right. So the scripture is giving you a warning that there's going to come a time of trouble, such a time that none has ever been documented that's right now it's saying that he shall be saved out of it mm -hmm. now that he represents as the as the spirit is going to lead us to the hopeful humble fearful elect man that's the right. ones that hope to be saved out of the destruction that's about to come to this place man for the negro latinos and native americans that's we was right. talking about how people in the spirit of mirth and ha 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 he 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 laughing it up man but this is really the time to have fear of the lord man be drawing near to the lord because hey it's some hell of five times is happening now and it's only going to intensify man so when we make it mention that this is a time of jacob's trouble for the negroes latinos and native americans hey our people should be getting ready but that's guess right. what the hopeful humble fearful elect going back to the heat that's going to be saved out of it hey we're preparing ourselves man we're getting ready through the spirit man that's right i just want to say that bro hey duata beautiful beautiful brother yeah because that's the time we coming in you go ahead priest this is wisdom of solomon chapter 5 verse 1 then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. That righteous man, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? And and that's talking about the servants, man. Or your how about your shot, man? All right. You know, going to be standing up boldly at the end of the day or whatnot because we present our body as a living sacrifice. Right. You got the wicked, which is the third category of man, Esau, Edom. All right. The so-called white man. And that's starting with your super elite, your one percenters. All right. You know, hey, man, these devils, man, they can... They can do anything, man. You know, Esau, the blessing is this war, man. Yep. All right? You know, anybody, anything can happen to us, man. We, we, we facing all the elements, man. All right? But we don't allow the elements of this world, you know what I'm saying, you know, 
for to draw fear from us or whatnot for us not to do what Yahweh Bashim Shah commanded us to do. We That's know right. nothing can happen to us, man, as long as we're doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Going back to what that Psalm 34 and 7, yep. you know what I'm saying? The angels yep. camping, camping around. around those and fear the Lord. Yeah, that fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So we don't have no fear, bro. I grab that for you. Go ahead, brother. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth. Them. And you speak on it on priest. Yeah, so at the end of the day, that's because when you go into that word boldness, right, it ultimately means confidence. And when you break down the word confidence, it literally means with faith. Faith. That's right. So, that's right. We're, really, so we're so we're really stepping out on faith, man. That's why we go out with the boldness. We first of all we know that we have the truth. There you go. Right. There you so, go. So that's, there you go. That's, that's our confidence. That's number one thing. That's, right. that's, number, that's one number one thing. thing right? We got the truth, bro. And then we know that from your how about Shimmy how with Shah by our seeing our teachers. That's right. And we know that the elders apostles were set up by your how about Shimmy how with Shah. Pursuing back to Jeremiah 3 and 15 Where, where Yahweh yeah, Shemar Shai said he's going to give us teachers. Uh, teachers after his own heart At That's the end right. of the day or yep. whatnot yep. Also lining with Isaiah 30 20 and 21, yep. where it yep. say, I shall see our yep. teachers, yep. man. Yep. And that's pretty much talking about, you know, the internet scripture, because it say they shall not be hid any corner anymore. Yep. So that's going into the internet, where this truth is going to go throughout the four corners, because the, because the scriptures tell you, in Matthew, this word had to go throughout the whole world, yep. then the end shall come. How was that going to happen, man? By the vehicle of the internet, man, by the unicorn, man. All right, like like those apostles always go into, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shema Shah created the internet to do the heavy yep. lifting. That's why we don't have to travel and go throughout the whole world to be teaching try to wake up israel because that'd be virtually impossible for us right. to do at the end of the day, right. day or whatnot right. Man. all right and then also let me add this too you know what i'm saying we, we stand bold it's like el apostle um gabal always say man we ain't living on this side no goddamn right, right man right. all right we only surviving you know what i'm saying you know we in hell we in captivity we in fucking slavery bro you living when you in rulership man exactly. all right you know we ain't no fucking rulership you don't know bro. What true life is, yeah man. And, then, and then and then ultimately the issues of life and death belong to your how about your right. anyway right. man all right, but we'll continue on, my brother. That's right. Psalm chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord, Yahweh, encampeth round about them that fear him mm -hmm. and delivereth them. Yeah, the elect. So so, so the elect going to be delivered regardless of what circumstance or situation we may, face, we, we may be faced with. Hey, hey, the elect going to get delivered out of all situations at the end of the day or whatnot. And for certain brothers, they have to be martyrs for the, for the word's sake, for the truth's sake, for Yahweh about your shot's sake. Guess what? You know, the day of the Yahweh Shemal Shah going to rise first anyway. That's right, that's and then right. pursuing back to Revelation 14 and 13, our works follow us. So we're not doing the work in vain at that's the right. end of the day or whatnot. Yahweh Shemal is still going to have that reward waiting for us, man. All right? For the leg men, if you endure to the end, man. All right? God. Simple as that. I we get, we get, Go ahead, brother. brother. I got that precept too, Revelation 14 and 13. Really. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth, mm -hmm. yea, say of the spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Yeah, so there you go, man. Your works follow you. Your works follow you. Right. That, that's self-explanatory at the end of the day. So we're not doing this work in vain, man. Yahweh right. Shema Shah is not unrighteous where he's not going to forget, you know what I'm saying, our works at the end of the day or whatnot, man. But we'll go back to that wisdom side. We kind of read that kind of quick. Right. We are like about eight minutes in and it's damn time, man. Give me the damn 15 minutes old corner okay. behind time and shit. But anyway, go ahead, brother. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Yeah, you damn Edomites, man. You Edomites and you other heathen nations, man. But mainly you damn Edomites, man. You the number one culprits at the end of the damn day or whatnot, man. You are primary enemies at the end of the day, man. All right? You know, you the one to put that hell on us. All right? You know, you the one that... You know what I'm saying? In your fucking movies and shit, you always portray Jake to be thugs, to be predators, all right? To be goddamn ignorant. You know what I'm saying? You know, criminals at the end of the day, which you the biggest fucking criminal right. at the end of the day, man. That's right. why when these these damn um, foreigners, when they come over here to America, what you tell those foreigners, hey, don't 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 deal don't deal with these the, these blacks and those yep. Latinos and Native Americans. Don't deal with yep. them or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to put that that wicked ass paintbrush on us at the end of the day. And with you the damn corporate, you the fucking devil at the end of the day. You, you the thug. Everything. You the goddamn predator at the end of the goddamn that day, man. From. Yeah, yeah. We learn we learn to be niggas from Esau, man. Cause you the number one nigga, man. You the first nigga, man. All right, you got it, bro. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Yeah, because they know that's, that the end is going to come. Going back to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. All right, you know what I'm saying? The wicked, you know what I'm saying? Esau can't go down until he be revealed. Right. All right, you know what I'm saying? Once the devil is being revealed, hey, that's the end of his goddamn on kingdom right there, man, because he, he was able to rule in secrecy. He was able to rule because, you know what I'm saying, he committed identity theft, man. All right, he wanted to take 
the word Edomite off the face of this earth or whatnot, man. He want to be everybody but who the fuck he is. He want right. to be the he want to be the Hebrew Israelites. He want to be Ham. All right, he lying talking about he was fucking Jaffet and all that bullshit. No, right. you the, you Esau. Right. right. You that damn nation. Your about your mouth gonna have the nation forever. At the end of the day, and we bring it out on your ass, man. Through the spirit of your how about your mouth shot, bro. We bring it out on you, man. All right, you devils going out. You've been exposed, man. That Revelation 11 and 11, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, how about your mouth shot? Right Walking up those dead bodies, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, brother. Well, I about to say, that's the spirit of right here. Mm -hmm. Revelation 11 and 11. And after three days and a half, yeah. the spirit of life right. from the most high entered into them. Mm -hmm. And they stood upon their feet, mm -hmm. and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Yeah, Esau, man. All right, mm -hmm. because he know that represents the end. And he also know that's your how about your mouth shot, waking up. Israel at the end of the day, Israel's been waking up, man. Every damn day, every second of the dog on minute, you have Hebrew Israelites that's waking up, man. Right. All right. So so his cover, you saw cover is blown now, man. All right, you know? And see, and see when Israel wakes back up to the nationality who they are, and once the elect and once the elect is woken, that's a rap for you goddamn Edomites, man. That's a rap, bro. And they know that shit, man. That's why these devils tried and spent billions of damn dollars to submerge this truth. Right. That's why they paid out these fucking sellouts and shit of our people, all right? They be, they, they be going off to teach our people to go off at the end of the day, not teaching on the real name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? To go off in the doctrine at the end of the day because they know by the prophets waking back up, they, they know that that represents the end. Esau, yeah. the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of that following. So, so in order... For it be in the Esau's world, Jacob got to wake back up. That's right. <laughs> Jake got to wake right. back up to who he yeah. is, man. Right. All right. And that started all the way back to uh, Elder Alva Bivens, which that was Elijah coming back. But you, but at that time, you didn't have the fucking internet, man. Right. All right. The word, the word, and the truth wasn't preached to rock the whole four corners. It wasn't talking about the time when Elder Bivens um, started and kick it off. Elder Bivens kick it off. But it's talking about the time now, you know, with our elders' apostles, starting with our elders' apostles, Great Millstone, mainly El Apostle Hart. Go, going at the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah using him to go on YouTube to upload the videos, man. Right. And that's when this word and truth start going throughout the four corners, man. And you better believe Esau. That's why he monitor all our videos. All right, he taking down brothers' videos, putting strikes on brothers' pages. Yep. Anytime we bringing out the truth, that's why we have to speak, codify. Speaking all right, right. we got speaking codes or whatnot. Cause it's the truth. If we didn't have the truth, would it be necessary for you to nope. be monitoring our videos, taking down our videos, putting strikes on our damn videos, putting strikes on our pages or whatnot? To take serious. There you go, brother. All right, we go back in our wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, verse two. Once again, when they see it, they shall be troubled. With terrible fear mm -hmm. And shall be amazed At the strangeness Of his salvation The strangeness That's what I wanted to get to That was the whole point The strangeness of our salvation Because it's going to be Strange And that, that never ever happened Before in history Where you see Millions of Israelites Which represents the elect The one third Get delivered man right. All eyes going to see man You know what I'm saying From these other nations Throughout the world And these damn Blockhead niggas that's over here, the two-thirds that left over here in Babylon to, to get their judgment. All right, you're going to be that second death, that lake of fire, um, courtesy of those thermal nuclear missiles, man. All right, and them sonic missiles, man. You know what I'm saying? They ass going to partake in that second death. But they going to see, but before that happened, they going to see the elect. We scarcely going to make it. They going to see the elect get beamed up through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. So there ain't nothing like that never ever happened in fucking history, man. Yeah, now, right. you done seen certain, well, first of all, you done seen our, our big bro Yahweh Shah got beamed yeah. up. But you done seen Elijah, he done got beamed up. You done seen Enoch, he done got beamed up or whatnot, but you didn't see us, you didn't see us as like a nation. Right. Uh, one third of our people, which is represents the elect of Israel, get beaten up. You know what I'm saying? Simultaneously or whatnot, man. You never seen nothing like that before. So that right there, that right there, about to be a, a phenomenon that, that, that that's about to take place, man. Yes. Future phenomenon is about to take place, man. Not, never ever happened before. You go ahead, brother. It says, so far beyond all that they looked for. Yep, yep, right. yep. And we, you know what? And like I said, for time's sake, cause we about to get out there. You know what I'm saying with our brothers or whatnot. But the main point, what I want to drive home. The strangers of our salvation. That's right. right. That's, 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 right. that's why I want to touch on right there or whatnot, man. Cause that's the time we coming in. That's the time we're looking forward to. This is why we're putting all this work in, bro. This is why we're presenting our body as a living sacrifice that's at the right. end of the day or whatnot, man. Cause we're looking to be saved. We're looking to be delivered, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know? And, and, and also, we're looking, man, for, for that rest, bro. All right? You know? All right? We're looking for rulership, man. All right. All right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, we want to be heirs with our big bro. You're how we shot, man. All right? And governing the earth, governing, sitting on those seats and them crowns on our heads or whatnot, man. And putting a foot up Esau ass That's and right. his heathen nation ass, bro. At the end payback. of the day, man. Getting that real payback, man. At the end of the day, man. And first and foremost, like like bro said, seeing our big bro, you how we shot, first and foremost, get his glory, right, man, on this man. side, man. All right. Then the elect, man. Hey, that, that second, um, Sorry, uh, what that is, second address two and, and 41 yes, on sir. down, yes, man. Sir. Yes, sir. All right. But with that, man, that's the end of our listen. All right. Like I said, this was a pre-camp video here. Out of Rock the Zock, I pray that it was edifying and, and schlock 